Whether you're uploading, downloading, browsing, querying, streaming, emailing, conferencing, or gaming, all of these actions are made possible by a complex network connecting billions of devices called the internet. Now, the internet may be vast, but its foundations rely on two essential protocols to orchestrate the transfer of data across the web. TCP, or the Transmission Control Protocol, plays a critical role in ensuring reliable connections from clients to servers. Let's break down TCP in real time by using Google Chrome to visit YouTube.com. We first start at the application layer where an HTTPS request to the YouTube server is sent out. Once Chrome has the destination address or IP address of YouTube.com, it's resolved through the DNS and a reliable connection to the YouTube server will need to be made. After all, TCP is known for its reliability. From here, we kick off what's known as the TCP three-way handshake. Chrome will first initiate a connection to the YouTube server by sending a TCP packet with the synchronization flag set. This packet includes Chrome's initial sequence number along with other metadata. The YouTube server receives this packet and then responds with another TCP packet of its own that has a synchronization and acknowledgement flag set. Chrome will then send an acknowledgement packet signifying the receipt of YouTube's synchronization slash acknowledgement packet. At this point, the TCP connection is established and both sides can start sending data. Now this is pretty complex, but what makes TCP so reliable is that each packet that is lost or corrupted during transmission will be retransmitted or resent until it is successfully received and acknowledged by the receiver, aka youtube.com. Of course, with reliability comes trade-offs such as speed. This means that TCP may be a great solution for downloading, emailing, or streaming, but what about real-time use cases like video conferencing or Zoom? Well, we know Zoom requires real-time communication, so the two-way conversation plays a huge factor. For this, we need a faster protocol. In comes UDP, or User Datagram Protocol, which yes, does sacrifice reliability, but also gains performance and speed. Unlike TCP, which relies on a connection between the client and server before transmitting data, UDP is completely connectionless. Each UDP packet is handled independently by the network without any handshake or acknowledgement. This allows data transmission to begin faster without delays or extended latency time. The problem, however, is that UDP does not guarantee a delivery of packets. There's no mechanism for acknowledgements or retransmissions. Once a UDP packet is sent, the sender just assumes it's been delivered. UDP also lacks built-in encryption and authentication mechanisms, which poses a risk. Since UDP does not require a handshake, attackers can flood a targeted server with UDP traffic because no permission is needed. This is known as DDoSing. Ultimately, while TCP guarantees data delivery at the cost of speed, UDP excels in real-time scenarios. The versatility of both these protocols show their crucial roles in shaping the internet as we know today. And for that, it's always great to appreciate and understand how they work under the hood. So thank you everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.